Good morning, boys and girls. It is about 6 a.m. Jessica and Gigi are still asleep, so I'm headed to Hollywood Studios to see if I can get on Rise of the Resistance, the new Star Wars ride. It's been crazy busy because it just opened in December, so we're going to see if I can get on it. Some people have been getting there like 5.30 in the morning, and they still don't get called until noon or... You know, it just we're just gonna go. We're just gonna see what we see. They're doing it differently this time. They're uh, it's a boarding group system, so you request the boarding group on your phone, and then your boarding group might load later in the day. So we're gonna go see how early I can get on the ride today. Made it to Hollywood Studios and it is already packed. It's about 6.25 and I mean, no surprise. I kind of knew it was gonna be packed, but looks like there's a not too long of a line to get through the bag check, so that's good. Um, I don't have a bag today, so I can go through the bagless one, um, but that's not too bad, so that's good. I heard, um, I was reading, my buddy Tom is what I call Tom Bricker, uh, even though I've never met him, but I'm pretty sure he'd be my best friend, um, over at Disney Tourist blog. And he was saying just the other day, just getting in the bag check took forever around this same time, around 6.30. So we're gonna see. There's already a bunch of people out here. And keep in mind too, we are in theory in a, a low season of the year. Uh, marathon weekend's over, so things should be calming down a little bit. I didn't, I don't know how bad it was uh, in the last couple weeks, but uh, this isn't too bad. So that's, I'm pretty happy with this actually. All right, it is now 6.35. I was able to get through security and the line to get in uh, in like 10 minutes, so that's not bad. So now we can all come in. If you get through uh, all that, you go through and you can hang out on the, uh, the main street area here. So now that we're through that, we can all actually kind of move forward and a bunch of people are probably gonna start heading back towards uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, but I think my, my game plan here is gonna be to go to Slinky Dog Dash, actually. Uh, and then still do the virtual queue from my phone for Galaxy's Edge for the Rise of the Resistance ride, but I'm gonna head over to Slinky Dog Dash because there's no way I'm gonna be on that ride uh, probably within an hour. So uh, I think that's my play. We're gonna see how that works out. It's a super long line for coffee. So uh, one, one thing, quick pro tip, bring coffee from your resort. That's what's up. Right, they've let people come in this far and going that way these people are going to Toy Story Land and then going the other direction everyone going that way is going to Galaxy's Edge if you can actually get to the two of them connected you can go through Toy Story Land to get to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge but they specifically said that entrance is going to be closed off I think people were thinking oh they can go this way to uh to kind of circumvent some of that crowd but it, that entrance is going to be closed so this is just for Toy Story Land that's just for Galaxy's Edge make sure you're paying attention when you uh you come in you're going to the right place <laughs> And again, my plan is to hop on and try and get a virtual queue boarding pass the second seven o'clock gets here. But I have a feeling it's probably gonna be a couple hours before I actually get on the ride. So that's why I'm going to Toy Story, see if maybe I can rope drop a Slinky Dog Dash. We're gonna see. All right, here they go, we're moving. All right, we're all moving back to Toy Story land slowly but surely. Okay, right as it turned to 7 a.m., I was able to get a boarding pass. Everyone around me, it's funny because you can hear everybody waiting, 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 and then 7 o'clock rolls around. Everybody's getting a boarding pass. They're all cheering. They're getting excited, whatever. Here's the thing. So we were all literally within seconds of it turning 7 a.m. getting boarding passes. The people next to me were 33. I was 38. I heard some people were getting like 60-something, and I'm talking within seconds. And those boarding, you know, they can take hours in between. So like, you know, 33 might be at 11 a.m., but 64 might be at you know, 6 p.m. So it really, and you know, if the ride breaks down, that changes things as well. So 
it's it's an interesting system, and I like the idea that you can walk around the park and you can do that kind of stuff. I, I think there's some improvements to be made, but overall, I guess we'll just we'll just wait and see. We'll wait and see. The wait time for Slinky Dog Dash said it was 80 minutes, but uh, we're we're cruising here pretty quickly. Um, so I I have a feeling I'll probably ride this in less than 20 minutes. And then they're already on boarding groups 10 to 16 right now. So, and it's what, 7.15? Yeah, 7.18 right now. So this actually, this actually might work out really well. <laughs> we will see, time will tell. Look at me, I'm way up high. All right, got some coffee. Actually, I got a coffee and an espresso. Down to the espresso as quickly as possible. Uh, I am an idiot though, uh, for many reasons, but uh, I didn't bring my sunglasses today because when I left the room, I was like, oh, it's, it's gonna be dark outside because it's 5.30 in the morning. Man, I forgot that it would get sunny later, so I didn't bring my sunglasses. Don't don't make that mistake. Um, so right now, I've just got time to kill. They're still on boarding group 26, so I'm wondering if like something got shut down for a few minutes, or I, I don't know. Hopefully, it's uh, back up and running here pretty quickly. But uh, I think I'm just gonna go look around the shops right now. Every all the rides have a decently long wait time, and I don't really want to wait in line any more than I already have. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna go walk around and see what I see. Galaxy's Edge, and there's Chewbacca. I love Chewbacca. Also, uh, Ray just walked by. Yeah, there she is. She's over there. It's so cool. I think that, that I think it's so cool. They just kind of walk around. I feel like a lot of people think that characters walk around a lot in Walt Disney World, but they're usually in one place, and they have somebody kind of watching them. But in Galaxy's Edge, they actually kind of move around, and it's uh, it's very neat. Makes it feel a lot more real. All right, it's 10 a.m. They're on 35, so only a couple more away, but it's like I said, 10, and I haven't eaten anything yet. So I decided to get a little bit of popcorn just to help tide me over, and I think once we get back, we're gonna have, well, probably be lunch by that point, but I'm like, I am starving, so I need to have a little something. So I got popcorn, and then I got this little, one of their little sprites. How cute. It is now 11.33, so I'm in boarding group 38, and about an hour and a half ago, it got to 36. So at like 10 o'clock, it was 36. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so close. It's almost here. And then it, I sat and it said, D and then it kept waiting and waiting and waiting, and it never turned after 36. Finally, about five minutes ago, they said the attraction's down. I'm like, well, if it's been stuck on 36 for that long, I wonder how long it's been down. I, I don't know. Uh, so I think I'm gonna head back, because once you're boarding, uh, pass is called. You have about one and a half, two hours to get back in line. So I'm going to go back to the resort. Hopefully they announce it here in a little bit and then I might try and get in the pool and with Jessica and Gigi and then I guess we'll try and come back once they announce my number. It just sucks because I kind of wasted a lot of time waiting around for them to announce 38 because it was so close. You know, if my number had been like 40 or 50, I almost would have preferred that because I could have come here, got my pass, and then come back later this evening. Um, so, oh well, what can you do? I gotta ride Star Tours and I gotta ride uh, Slinky Dog Dash, so could have been worse, I guess, but now I'm heading back, maybe a little pool time, and then we'll be back to Hollywood Studios in a little bit. Headed back to Hollywood Studios, hopefully, to ride <laughs> Rise of the Resistance. I haven't seen any of your vlog footage <laughs> from this morning, oh, so I'm so curious. I, I bet you were bored. <laughs> I did get a ride. What do I do without a wife and kids? And I did Star Tours, but I literally, just walked around for like six hours. <laughs> this one, and I'm none glad of the you bars were open yet. Not that I didn't want to drink because it was like 9 a.m. But I'm like, I can only well, have but if coffee. You're... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Tyler, don't there's water and soda, you psycho. I did get a Sprite, actually. <laughs> Sprite is the best when you're thirsty. I'm just saying. I think they've really brainwashed me real good. 
This is, our this is I know we vlogged so All much in the Skyliner, but it's so exciting. Yes, it really is very Transfers exciting. And return service We're looking at our next day. trip being in Thank like May, maybe us. like before schools get out, there's a nice few weeks where everything's a little cheaper. Yeah, so I'm, we want would love to save the Riviera if you yeah. saw the last bit of our vlog, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see what actually happens. Yeah, I will say today's very windy and it's mm. not super fun being on the Skyliner when it's windy. Uh, oh, I like it. Yeah, but it's a little over blowy. here, yeah, yeah. on the way to Hollywood Studios, it's, it's even uh, higher up, and you can really feel uh, it. Uh, I'm moving. She, she's been loving the whole trip. Uh, we haven't ridden it in the day. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. So bye -bye. <laughs> I think she thinks she's in Harry Potter land, and she's like, <laughs> she's saying go. Saw. Watch. Please remain. There's another. The doors automatically open. <gasps> When exiting the cabin, I saw a really funny tweet the other day, or a post on the internet that said, the only people who call it Star Wars Galaxy's Edge are being paid by the mouse. Everyone else calls it Star Wars Land. Like, that's, it's true. Potter We're land. not getting paid by the mouse, Everybody. technically, and we do call it Star Wars Land. <laughs> By complete happenstance, we just got back, and within a minute, I think, they opened up 38. Today, things worked out. I received probably 20 messages this morning from different people saying that they waited all day to ride this, or they waited an hour, they waited two hours, whatever, and so many people said this is like the best theme park experience they've had in their entire life. It's the best ride they've ever ridden, it's the best thing they've ever done. It's a lot to live up to. A lot of really good messages, so we're gonna go see. We are at ABC Commissary. Just ignore my insane hair, it's huge. I got some chicken nuggets. This little girl got some mac and cheese and some apple slices and some milk. What do you think? Ah. She's being a good girl. So Tyler hopefully is writing Rise of the Resistance at this point, we'll see. Because we're all standing in line, they just brought in Chewbacca, so that's that's pretty cool. Incoming transmission from Ray. All right, so here's the dilemma that I'm, I'm currently facing. Um, either I tell you that it was the greatest ride that I've ever ridden in a theme park, ever, or I lie and tell you that it was not because I don't want the line to get super long <laughs> like it was today. You guys, I, I've never experienced anything like it. It was, it was, it was the greatest ride I've ever ridden. I, there it is. I'm, I'm, there it is. Sorry, not sorry. Doing Disney Junior live on stage. We've never done it. She we said, what is going went. on? Whoa. <laughs> Very exciting. Hello. Dance, oh. Put your hand on your imaginary headphones and spin like this. Okay, let's try that one more time. Put your hand on your imaginary headphones and spin like this. Good job, you guys. Yeah, now this is for when the store is Disney. Junior, let's party. Ooh, hey, Finn. Yes, it's JTJ. What time are Mickey and the Racer Racers coming? She's crazy. Disney Junior Dance Party! <laughs> A dance party? 
All right, so we have finished there. The Disney Junior Show, by the way, was weirdly, really, really good. Like, we both thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. And it wasn't Sophia the First, which is what she watches. Yeah. And there was some Mickey towards the end, which was very yeah. cute. But she was dancing she and singing. She had a ball. But the two singers, and I, again, it's you can't say that they're all this good, but the two singers are probably the best like singers I've ever seen. Like, Castle yeah. Show, Frozen Show, Beauty and all the Beast the Live, shows, any yeah. of the shows. They were, they were probably very the best singers I've ever they seen. They were belting real high, Disney both of World. them, male and female. And we were like, look at so, each other like, oh my god! I guarantee that's going to happen every time, but today we got real lucky. Yeah, so we are headed to, we have a reservation for Ogus Cantina, which is, I think, the last thing in Star Wars Land we have not tried, other than Except, making like, a lightsaber yeah. and making a droid. Droid, right. Eventually. We've tried Regardless, all the restaurants, we tried all the I've shops. tried all but Rise of the Whoa, Resistance. there goes the squirrel. So, Squirrel. next time maybe I'll do rice, but anyway. Although Tyler said it was awesome, I was like, all right, it stop was, making me jealous, dude. Come on. <laughs> anyway, so that's where we're headed. I know they have some snacks there, so we might snack a tinge. We'll see. On the, yeah, on the seven ogas, yeah. Yeah, but I figure we'll be in there 30 minutes and then probably out. Yeah, yeah if think. that, yeah. We're in line for Ogas Cantina and we got our menu. And you have a 45 minute time limit right now, so like we can only be in there. Well, we will probably be in there for 10 minutes because we have her and it's mostly standing room only. So yeah, we'll go we in, we'll get our stuff, and we'll go. See the side. Um, but you do have a 45 minute time limit. Uh, but this is our menu and they kind of have it. They're trying to get people in and out. Oh, there's Tyler Red. We have seen them numerous times, which is It's makes it so really cool. I was talking earlier about how this is really the only land where characters walk around. You know what I mean? A lot of times in other parks they kind of they go to their place they're there for meet and greets and then they leave but you here them, they just yeah. walk around like ugh, it's so cool i think i'm gonna do the bad motivator ipa do you know what you're gonna do yet well i originally thought about this i'm like oh it sounds sweet with like some rum but it's like but then i was like when she it? said it's 45 dollars and i said no i'm sure it said 15 and she's like, like no it no. actually says 45 <laughs> but it comes like, with like a souvenir so glass and whatever else we'll see I don't know. We'll see. I gotta look at it. Maybe the slug slinger. <laughs> I just like to say it. <laughs> coming in I can't explain it like the music that was playing before this was very much like what they were singing in the like whatever lounge they always go in in Star Wars the original she's just a happy girl It's 5.50 p.m. and I literally just realized I haven't eaten basically at all today. I had popcorn at like 10.30 or 11 a.m. Yeah, I don't know how you survived that. I was very concerned about riding Rise of the Resistance. But I have not. <laughs> oh, what do you think? So we stopped, we were gonna go with like Pizza Rizzo and then we saw this place and like, you know what, barbecue sounds really good. So we stopped at Minnabill's Dockside Diner. Yep. And I selfishly ordered two things that I wanted. And I said, Jessica, you will find something that you want to munch on because this. Yeah, because Gigi and I ate a little bit earlier. Ready to go. Poor baby. <laughs> all right, we're headed to see Frozen sing along. Yay! Yeah, this is yeah. We, 
That's where we ate. And now we're going to see the Frozen show. Yay, Bubbles! <laughs> I might, we might have mentioned this in the past vlog, but it's our last night here. She loves bubbles. She wants to hold her hands. Oh, sorry, sorry. Switch hands. Sorry, there sorry. We go. There you go. Um, so we were thinking about we're going to Fantasmic as long as everything works okay tonight. And we thought if she's still awake, because she might fall asleep. If she's still awake, we're going to buy her a little bubble machine. Yeah. Because <laughs> she has seen so many kids and she's just so excited about the bubble. She loves bubbles. So All right, here we go. Oh. Okay, truly, madly, deeply. Look, she keeps putting her wrist up to stuff. She sees us touch our, our uh, magic bands. She did it when we were coming in, and I was like, oh my god. She just touched her wrist to that thing over there as we were walking in. All right, come on, Gigi. Stop, I did it, and they were walking. Did you see her? I'm excited to see the show. You're gonna love Frozen. Just you wait. Just you wait. So I just really quickly wanted to uh, kind of show you. I just filmed a little bit. I'm going to try and narrate what I filmed a second ago. <laughs> Good luck. So there are uh, basically two loops once you get to any of the monorail stations. And Not monorail. Sorry. <laughs> start over. <laughs> We're just going to start this whole thing over. When you get to any of the Skylander stations, everyone's on the same track. I'm going to try and explain this very simply. When you get off the track, everyone almost goes around the small loop. Right, just that—that's the normal route. You get on. If you have mobility issues, or if you're slow to get off and on, or if you have a scooter, or if you have if the strollers, they usually just let kind of go off and on. But if you're in like yeah. a an ECV or a wheelchair, they will pull off to a second area and stop, so you can get on. But so it you can stop still the motion of the other things because right. So they're almost going out or loop. It is constantly moving slowly. Right, exactly. So even getting yeah. the stroller on and on, it's like a little okay. nerve wracking. Yeah. Yeah. So like that's just one thing. If you do escalator. have an ECV or whatever, a scooter, you can still ride the Skyliner and they just pull off to a, just let the cast members know and they pull off to a separate area. I just thought that'd be important for some people to know because it, it's, it's such a smart cool. idea for them to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Disney. Think of it all. Oh my God. I might have already previously vlogged about it, but they also have them in like some of the resort gift shops. The little coin thing. Yeah. I talked about it earlier. They usually have it above some of the coin things and gift shops at the parks. But you but press pennies. The, but even at the resorts, they have it. Good morning. <laughs> We're eating breakfast at Landscape of Flavors, which is the quick service at Art of Animation. Um, and we got the bounty platters. Classic Disney bounty Please. platter. We haven't had it yet, so here we are. We have it's not it, a Disney trip. trip. Yeah, oh, at least, yeah. We are on the Tragical Depress we just got on, and I set Chi Chi down so I could put the bags above our head, and she refused to let me sit down. She said, no, I sit here now. And she wanted the seatbelt on, so she got her seatbelt on. <laughs> She's probably safer than she would be in her life anyway. Oh, Gigi. Oh, no, You're an independent little girl, Gigi, that's for sure. Here, airport. We're at the airport. And we promised we would show off the new thing at the end, so if you waited this long, here we are. Magic of Disney. Made it. It's the same products you're gonna find anywhere else, but it's in a different location. <laughs> but it is nice because we did forget something like there, but a couple times we are like, oh crap. We forgot to get something for someone or forgot to do yeah, and this is or you don't want to carry it all around until you know, may as well just pick it up here. It really is nice that they've done a good job. Um, it feels a lot more up to date, a lot more less 90s Disney, but not in a bad way, like in a good way, like a little updated. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's because they have actual competition, like on Etsy, where people yeah. are making really cool stuff. And so, yeah, like, I feel there have been so many times I'm wearing something and people are like, where'd you get that? What store? Like in Disney. And I'm like, oh, Etsy. Etsy or Target or. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think for a while it got really um, stale a lot of the Disney products um, but I think they've done a good job of kind of updating it to so. make it more cute and fun and more what people are looking for give the people what they want 